It's Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary's biggest educational outreach event of the year, the Mate Underwater Robotics Competition. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Middle school, high school, and university students from throughout the region packed into the Chatham County Aquatic Center, bringing robots they built and designed on their own. This is the thruster. This is what controls it. This is what makes it go up and down and side to side. And we have the camera, and then we have the claw to pick up things. Well, you have to get the ballast neutrally buoyant, and that was hard. Like, it was, it, was, uh, it was positively buoyant, so we had to make it neutrally buoyant. The remote control robots must complete a complex series of tasks in the pool, manipulating objects in a manner that simulates real-world tasks that might be done by professional ROV operators in the ocean environment. This year's task is oriented around servicing um, equipment underwater, so fixing things, replacing old parts, um, opening doors to install a connector. But the competition isn't limited to the action in the pool. The students must also present posters that depict their work and make verbal presentations to judges. It's a way to expose these young people to the science, technology, engineering, and math skills that are used by researchers in America's national marine sanctuaries. Reporting for Gray's Reef, your national marine sanctuary, I'm Michael Jordan.